It is week three already, and we are going into chapter seven, eight, and nine, module three inside Blackboard of this course. I wanted to welcome you to the beginning of looking at the functions of management. We will start looking at planning this week. Planning is so important because it helps us understand where we want to go and how we're going to get there. From the plans, we then go ahead and we set some goals. And those goals tend to create a way for us to strive to carry out the plan and hit measurable outcomes that we desire as an organization or as a person. From those, you make decisions and you base your strategy on how you're going to do that. So once you figure out your plans and set some goals, you develop a strategy to carry that out. Once you have the strategy, you're gonna make decisions around whether or not that decision helps you achieve your goal and carry out the strategy that you desire. If you think about this in a personal way, you may have had a plan to go to college, so you decided to start looking into college. You set some goals for yourself once you were accepted that you're going to get this degree, that you're going to have high marks and you're great in your uh, courses, and that you're maybe going to get engaged as a student. The strategy you develop is how you're going to carry out your day-to-day -day life to get those goals and attain them. So it might be always attending class, studying for two hours on Tuesday afternoons when you have a break or something like that. And then you make decisions around those. So if you get invited to something that isn't going to help you achieve your goals, you may need to think about that and make a decision on whether or not it's the best thing for you to do. Is it a good idea? So is going to a luncheon that has nothing to do with your major a good idea, or should you be looking for more events that are in line with your major that would move you towards your goal of getting engaged and positioning yourself for a great career after college? Those are some quick examples of personal life, planning, goal setting, carrying out a strategy, and making decisions to further yourself or your organization to meet your goals. So that's what you're gonna do this week is look at those three topics and that is chapter seven, eight, and nine. So you do have three chapters this week. So be mindful that you do have one more chapter than what you're used to doing in previous weeks and that will carry on throughout the rest of the semester. You have the homework that you have for every week for those chapters, but you also have a discussion board this week. And that discussion board is really gonna be looking at some practical decision-making strategies of people that we deem successful in society. Specifically, you're gonna look at how Warren Buffett and Jeff Bezos make decisions. As you may know, Warren Buffett is a business tycoon and owns a lot of companies and is very successful in terms of his financial wealth in making good decisions around advancing his companies. And Jeff Bezos, as you may know, um, is the founder and CEO of Amazon. So you're going to work through a decision-making discussion board. I would appreciate if you could get your original posts in on Wednesday night of this week so that you have four full days to respond to other students. Be mindful of your proofreading and that you are creating a post that is free of grammar and typing errors that has a couple paragraphs where the thoughts are not just one large paragraph and that you are well developed in your approach to posting a message and responding to others on the discussion board. We are working toward business posturing and communicating in a business environment and so we practice that in this area of the course. You'll also have a milestone to do this week which is your final topic proposal and you have a quiz. If you have any questions, let me know. Keep up the good work.